Hey guys, Ryan Gill here in the cave with Hunt Primitive. I looked this up because an interesting question rolled across um, my Facebook group, the Hunt Primitive Tribe. Matthew John Trivets asked a question and he says, does anyone have any practical or practice of total use, specifically of whitetails? How many eat organ meat, tan, preserve, hide, and fur? Use of bone and connective tissues? Does anybody render ho hooves into it? Adhesive? I would like to waste less. Want to see what others are doing. And so as a guy that is very much immersed into using the resources from wild animals, this is a great topic for me to touch on because a lot of people aren't really familiar with the idea of using, well, we like the idea of, say, using every part of an animal, right? Because that makes the most sense. But it's not like, well, when we kill one, we just spend days and days and days working down every individual piece of this because there is systems in which we streamline through some of the process, so hang with me. So that's probably the closest thing that I could guess as to what primitive man would do, the same thing that I do, say, with my business, because stuff like cannon bones and femurs, uh, that stuff is really important to me, as, of course, is the sinew and the deer hide. I've harvested or I've saved the hide off of every deer that I've shot for probably the last, probably going on about 10 years or so at least, you know, so I really don't like to waste deer hides. However, say, like pig hides, they're kind of like a dime a dozen and they don't really make nice leather. They're kind of crappy. They're good for some things, like I can save some of them. And a lot of times I actually use them for more like penetration tests and stuff. It's kind of like the rabbit hide. If you ever seen my how to skin a rabbit in six seconds video, people are like, oh, you ruined the hide. And it's like, man, a, a wild cottontail, it rips super, super easy. Like it's very, it's not like a domesticated rabbit that's tough. The hide's just really not worth anything. It's just kind of a junk hide. You're after a rabbit to eat it. That's what it is. It's like rabbit bones too. You're not, what are you gonna really gonna use the rabbit bones for? They're so small, they don't make good tool bones, but there's certain bones in an animal, like said, the deer cannon bones, or even the pigs for that matter, or fe femurs, that you can cut and you, you can make bone projectiles out of them. You make knife handles out of a lot of that stuff. And primitive peoples too, they wouldn't use every single bone. It's stuff like vertebrae and hip bones and shoulder blades. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that you just don't really use on a regular basis. Not saying you never use it. So if we're really talking about bone usage per se, there's only so many things you could do with, you know, all these other different bones. But, you know, your cannon bones and your ulnas and your femurs and, and really the good bones that you're looking for is it's not like we're going to stop and strip every tiny bit of flesh off it because you remember there's marrow in it and sure there's some of the situations you can smash the bones and you can eat the marrow off of it out of it but there's there's not really a lot of meat inside of say uh you know a, a deer cannon bone <laughs> there's not much marrow in there but uh what we essentially do is we take all the remains and it's i don't just like put them in a trash can and send them to the dump because that makes no sense you know what we do is the same thing that primitive peoples would do is we we have a, a midden or a trash pile and that stuff goes in it and then as scavengers come in and they clean everything off and the bugs tear everything down then after a while like a couple times a year i go back to these places that we uh, leave animals just in piles and sometimes they pack bones off we'll do a perimeter search if it's something that we're really looking for but for the most part we go around and pick up all the cannon bones and go and pick up all the ulnas and the and the uh, uh, the femurs and, and anything that we really want to use for a tool use bone and so that's how we we really collect the tools uh, or the bones for tools that we use it's rather than just say cool I'm gonna save these and now have to spend how long stripping them off and then they still stink and it's just let mother nature take care of it and as far as the hides go like i said we'll go ahead and skin one off and i save those some animal hides you keep some of them you don't they're just not worth keeping and when you have enough supply of this it's just like primitive man you're going to use the best of the best and the rest of it either goes to other crafts like little strips of things or you just discard it but you can use for rawhide for leather for lashing all kinds of things bow strings that you're making at animal hides then obviously the sinew we're taking that off of all the deer that we take without a doubt and pig sinew, sinew actually works too but that's one of those things where yeah if you take the pig sinew off and then you chew it you could get trichinosis so it's like that's trichinosis so you don't really want 
to be doing that per se or bursalosis that would be bad really too so um and then as far as say rendering stuff down into glue that's not something that i personally i'm i've never been a big hide glue type of type of person i'm a big pine mastic type of person but with as water soluble as hide glue is it's not something that i've just been a huge fan of i've just never really gotten into hide glue which in the future i'm sure that i'll cross something in which i really need it say with some of your sinew backing stuff i mean yeah i mean i've used it before but it's not something i use on the regular so i just save my things my my hides and my sinew and stuff for other projects as opposed to making glue um and then as far as like eating organ meat i have no problem eating the heart um, liver actually doesn't bother me, but for the most part, stuff like eating kidneys, if I'm super hungry, sure, I'll eat that stuff. I mean, if I'm super hungry, I'll boil lungs down and eat it too. I'm not afraid of doing that, but just like anybody else, I'm going to go in and I want to take the best cuts of the best cuts. And then realistically, everything that's left over that I'm not in love with, that gets thrown in a sausage or a burger pile. So we're us utilizing so much more than your average person really does. So when it really comes down to it at the end of the day to say, well, you know, we're using every single piece, that's, it's impractical and it's something we like to say to make ourselves feel better or to tell the anti-hunters that don't understand, they have no clue how any of this works, to say, no, we don't use every single piece. I mean, it's just, it's totally impractical. What are you going to do with the vertebrae from 20 deer? Like, what are you going to do with them? realistically so there's uh, there is some waste but nothing ever goes to waste you have to remember that this stuff's organic it goes to feed worms and buzzards and coyotes and possums and all that other stuff and then it goes back into the ground and it turns into fresh vegetation that feeds the other animals and that's part of the circle of life you say well when a when a coyote kills a deer does he use every part of it? Of course not. He eats what he can eat and then he's off and the rest of it decomposes down and other scavengers come in to get it. And it's like, that's just part of the circle of life. However, for those that say, you know, get that mean face, especially on YouTube and they're like, I hope you used every part of that animal. My question is, I use a lot more than your average person does. And my favorite response is, that cheeseburger you had for lunch, how much of that animal did you use? You ate the cheeseburger and you shit it out and that's it. You never saw any other piece of that animal. So keep that in mind. But of course we like to use everything. I mean, shoot, you see me, I've got pieces here sitting in the cave that I've been working on that that's left over, but I don't want to get rid of it. I use it for something. Shoot, I'll probably nap something with that. I'll probably do a video someday just saying, let me spall this up with this half of a bison femur I ripped off for another video cut that with stone tools you'll see that video here before too long I'm sure it did make a nice spalling hammer so I mean that's it it's like you're trying to take all these different things and utilize them any way you can but you can't use everything but we use most of it as most as we can so anyway thanks for following along hope that it uh, uh, gives you a little bit of insight into some of the primitive world a little bit of what I do so we'll catch you on the next adventure